self-importance is more about ego feeding than reality because it doesn't matter who the hell you are you could be president of the United States of America and you could die and somebody else is gonna do your job sure as shit if you can handle the truth baby mm. can't you just handle the truth baby oh. Baby, don't you listen now? You better, you, you oh, better. But I really think you need to hear this, darling. What's oh, on my mind? You better, you Too many people better. feel they are self-important when, in fact, they are not. And I'm going to give some great examples to explain this to you. Have you ever retired from a job or? quit a job? Do you realize that somebody actually is still doing that job now? Whether you are an air traffic controller, a police officer, a fireman, or just cleaned the sewers or made sandwiches, it doesn't make a damn difference because somebody is doing the job if it's that important. So obviously you were not that important and you were dispensable. I know that really pisses some people off. But it's the hard truth, and we got to speak about it. If you had a guess, <laughs> what percentage of people are listening right now that are really supposed to be doing some bullshit job? And they're kind of sitting in front of their keyboard with earbuds on, just barely paying attention, trying not to get caught looking at porn. Yeah, yeah. I, probably all over the planet, over a million. I remember Bruce Williams. I don't know if you're old enough to remember Bruce Williams. He was a multimillionaire radio broadcaster, and he was also a mayor at one point. He had a syndicated column, and he had a plane crash in one of his aircraft, and uh, he was actually hospitalized for quite a while. The funny thing that happened to him is he had one of the best quarters of his life after he was hospitalized. And he went on the radio to tell everybody how unimportant he was and how much money his corporation made for him after he was actually in the hospital. But you I, see, one of the one of the things I've discovered, and, and I'm being quite genuinely now, genuine now, is as you get older, you realize that almost nobody knows what they're talking about. <laughs> And I include myself in that statement, you know, because people really do think they know. Yeah. Uh, you should read a book called Black Swan. It's absolutely fascinating. But I'm a power, when I'm, uh, I'm a phony professor at Cornell, and I have a friend there called David Dunning. And David has spent, uh, he's, spent uh, he's a social psychologist, and he's done a marvelous amount of, he's been fascinated by how, when people are, are, are good or not so good at something, how accurate is their self-assessment? Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. how, do, they, do they know how good or bad they are? And they've discovered something which I think is one of the most enlightening things I've ever heard in my life. In order to know how good you are at something requires almost exactly the same skills as it does to be good at that thing in the first place. So that if you're absolutely no good at something, you lack exactly the skills <laughs> <laughs> that you need to know that you're no fucking use of it. <laughs> and that explains everything. It's no different than when I die, somebody will actually own my RV and somebody will probably even drive my car because I'm that not important but hey maybe you are more important than me and you can figure out a way to justify your existence and how important you really are it's important in life if you don't give a shit it can help you a lot the irony is if you are deluded with self-importance you actually lack the very skills to even tell yourself that you are actually not that important which is ironic Hello. I've actually tested the theory of unimportance in my own YouTube and online experience. When I post garbage on YouTube, often a lot of people watch it because it's really unimportant. And conversely, when I post really important stuff, nobody wants to watch it because after all, it's all very unimportant, but the most unimportant things seem to be important to you. 
So I absolutely guarantee that this crappy video, if it wasn't uploaded by me, would be uploaded by somebody else today or maybe tomorrow because all of it is very unimportant. So remember, your power grid is run by people who are very unimportant and if they didn't show up for work today, somebody else would do their job. That's the way it works, folks. And whatever the hell you do with your life and how you earn your money, it's so unimportant that if you actually also died or didn't show up for work today, somebody else would eventually do your job. Therefore, it's all so unimportant. But I'll tell you what's important. What's important is how you live your life just don't bother other people. Don't steal. Don't e-bag. Don't do any of that crazy stuff. Don't expect other people to work so that you can travel and you can live a good life. No, pay for it yourself. <laughs> I know it sounds radical and really conservative to expect you to pay for your own dreams and to fund your own dreams, but that's the way the real world works, folks. If you're a bear living in a forest, you don't rely on handouts because if you are a fed bear, you're a dead bear, and that's the Canadian way that I learned. So what do you think about self-entitlement and the unimportance of you thinking you're important? Because I'm not important and most of you, if not all of you, are very unimportant. That's just the way I see it folks, but it's still a happy life and it's whatever the hell you make it for yourself. In the meantime folks, stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and Man